also a volunteer at Mountain Studies Institute. And today in this video, we're going to show you how and why to make seed balls. Jeremy, why don't you start with the why? Hi, I'm Jeremy May, Education Coordinator with Mountain Studies Institute. Wildfires are an important part of our forest ecosystems. They serve an important role in thinning the forest and cycling nutrients. Wildfires can range in severity from low severity, meaning not much long-term impact to the forest health, to high severity, meaning more long-term damage to the forest. Historically, we've tended to see low intensity fires. However, for the last 100 plus years, climate change, grazing in the forests, and a policy of wildfire suppression have dramatically changed our forest landscape. We now have drier and more dense with wood forests. For the last several decades, we've seen bigger, more frequent, and more severe wildfires year after year. In a low severity fire, many of the plants, pine cones, and seeds can actually survive and regrow quickly. In a high severity fire, many of the plants, roots, and even pine cones and seed sources have been burnt and are gone, making it harder for the forest to regenerate and regrow. The 416 fire had a mix of severities. While wildfires can help a forest stay healthy and it can quickly regrow, they also give an opportunity for invasive plants to establish. Weeds tend to follow disturbance and they're really good at moving in quickly and taking over before the native plants have a chance to get in. Another consequence of wildfires is that the burned areas, especially high severity burned areas, are susceptible to erosion. This means that sediment, and debris flow down into our creeks and rivers, affecting our water quality. To help the native plants grow, we use a mix of seed from native grass, flowers, and shrubs. This seed's provided to us from the Forest Service. Our seed balls will encourage rapid regeneration of plants that will stabilize the soil and reduce the sediment and debris that flows into our rivers and streams. That way, they're not only improving the biodiversity by introducing native seed, but they're also reducing water quality impacts by stabilizing the soil. Those are the main reasons why we make seed balls. Now to Micah for how to make the seed balls. Okay, to make your seed balls, you will need powdered clay, sand, compost, and a mix of seeds that native to the 416 burn area. First, we'll mix our dry ingredients. Four parts clay into the tub. Two parts sand into the tub. Then we add two parts compost into the tub. Last but not least, one part seed mix from the forest service. If you've received one of your dry seed ball mixes in a jar, then all you have to do is uh, pour it into a bowl and add water. Uh, oh. Well, take the lid off, pour it into a bowl, and then add water. Perfect. Just like chocolate chip cookies, but not quite as tasty. Then you need to set your seed balls out to fully dry. We call them seed balls, but you can also make them discs, so they don't roll around so much when you throw them into the woods. On behalf of Mountain Studies Institute, we hope that you'll join us in making seed balls and dispersing them in the Hermosa 416 burn area while you're out hiking or biking. For more information and how to get your free seed ball kit, visit mountainstudies.org slash seedballs. Thanks for joining us. Happy trails!